everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because today my Moonshot Glassy Fit Cushion finally arrived. It's supposed to give glassy, radiant skin finish. It's actually for dry skin for fall and winter. The packaging will actually have these three clicks to prevent the cushion drying out. The sponge has a pointed tip for more precise application. It's supposed to be infused with a patented aqua complex and amino acid complex. It's supposed to adhere very well to the skin and feel basically weightless. And they have three shades, 101, 201, and 301. I got shade 301, which is their darkest shade. Of course, like all Korean foundations, there's a really, really limited shade range, which is really unfortunate because honestly, I'm not that dark. I'm maybe like fair medium skin and this is probably the one that's going to fit me um, based on my previous review of the Moonshot Face Perfection Cushion. It has the same packaging as the Moonshot Correct Fit but it's not going to be compatible with the Microfit, Setting Fit, or Face Perfection. With most cushion foundations you should be able to pop the bottom out and just refill. So the compact is actually reusable which is really awesome because it really cuts down on waste. Just so you know I have oily skin and I am currently I'm currently wearing the Crave Beauty Beat the Sun uh, sunscreen. That basically gives my skin more of like a glowy finish and it's really nice as a makeup base. Of course, I have a lot of acne scars. I used to have really bad cystic acne, but I went on a course of Accutane in the past year that cleared up a lot of it, but I do still break out. So I have one here, one here, one here of breakouts. Yay! Which is great because we get to see how high coverage this is if it's necessary to uh, use a uh, concealer or if just the cushion is okay enough for medium to high coverage. Alright, I'm going to come a lot closer so you guys can see every nook and cranny of my face and see how this cushion performs. So this is what the makeup sponge looks like. This is the same exact sponge as a lot of the other Moonshot cushion sponges uh, in that it's got like this purple ruby cell material which I actually really enjoy because it's kind of more plush than some of the other brands that I've used and it's got this pointed edge and the band is also a lot thicker. So I'm just going to apply it to this side of my face so you guys could see. Oh wow, that felt very hydrating actually, like the second I applied it. Very different from like regular foundations. What I'm seeing initially is that this one actually is a little bit lighter than the Face Perfection Mom, but hopefully what will happen is it dries down like a darker shade. So as you guys saw, oh my god, can you see the face like color difference? It's so stark. Oh gosh, I feel like this is one of those like radiant, makes your skin brighter looking. And when that means is every shade is basically like one shade lighter than what it really is. So it like whitens your face. But if you can see, this is what it looks like. If you didn't see this part, this is passable. <laughs> it's actually really high coverage and like literally just like one tap of the cushion was enough to cover half of my face. So you really don't need to use that much product. I'm going to go in for another tap and see if I could cover my other side of the face. And right away you could see like there's that glow but it feels so much thinner and lighter than like what the face perfection usually is. It doesn't feel sticky at all. I really do like this finish and it makes your skin look really nice. I'm not gonna lie. I think it did a decent job of like covering up these pimples. It definitely didn't get rid of the texture which like a more mattifying foundation would uh, but it it gets the job done in like evening out your skin tone. I finished applying my makeup and as you can see this is what my skin looks like. It looks great from far away but if you actually look up close I don't know if I love the finish of this product. <sighs> Maybe it's because it just takes away all of like the yellow in my skin like it neutralizes it so it just looks incredibly dead. Um, maybe I just need lipstick. So in my hands right now is actually the Moonshot uh, Cream Paint Tin Fit in another red.
Whoa, it's really, really red. So this is definitely one of those uh, very thin, light uh, formulas where you have to apply multiple layers for it to have like an even pigmentation. Powdery smooth, comfortable so far. Is the lipstick transfer proof? Hey guys, so I am currently cooking. It's been about three hours and this is the state of how my skin looks. Um, you can't really see it, especially with like the iPhone filters automatically placed on your face, but um, the skin does not look that good in my opinion. It's, it's started to break apart, especially here. Um, oh, the sun's coming out. It started to break apart, especially around my nose area, my forehead here, as, like the areas where I'm oily, but whatever's on my cheek looks fine for the most part. So it's definitely one of those, like if you have oily skin, you're gonna have to set the T-zone, but if you have dry skin, you might actually really enjoy this because um, my skin doesn't feel super, super terrible right now. It's not lunch time. Yeah, it's 5 p.m. Do you know where your kids are? Anyway, so I have Ramdan here, and then I have some corn and uh, beef bone, bone broth soup, um, and some mozzarella sticks that I just exploded in the microwave. I'm actually making Portuguese egg tarts, and I have been for the past uh, two hours, and I'm basically cutting up this dough to... Um, put them in cups like here, and then I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna link down below the recipes that I use. Um, I used two videos to learn how to make this, and hopefully this turns out okay. So that just took absolutely all of my thumb strength. I think I am going to have cramps for days, but now I'm pouring in the custard. All right, I have a little bit of custard left, but they said don't use it because it's going to explode if I do that. But now it's going in the oven. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you hear that? Wow. Hey everyone. It's about 9 p.m. right now. It's been about seven hours. The makeup, I don't know. If you look closer, I'm just, I'm breaking apart. <laughs> like all of this makeup. And it definitely rubbed off near my nose. And um, yeah, I mean, from far away and on camera, it looks absolutely amazing. The lipstick wore off the second I ate food. It's, it's definitely not one of those that could stand like oily greasy food um but it lasted a pretty good time and it does tint your lips just a little bit because my lips are never this dark um so overall not bad I, I kind of really enjoy that lipstick hi everyone hello sir my toilet won't stop so it's my last update of the night oh my god it's just i'm oil slick however one thing to note is it it still looks good it's still glowy overall this product isn't bad what i noticed was it didn't cling to any of my dry patches that's my last check-in of the night it's actually 1 a.m yay um and i'll be going to sleep after i take off my makeup hey guys i just wanted to let you know that i'm going to be trying the cushion again today but this time i'm going to set my t-zone i already set up here up here with the laura mercier translucent setting powder and yeah it's about 4 p.m today the quarantine is going amazing here in new york
and I will actually be leaving my house today to pick up some prescriptions at CVS. So only like a 15 minute walk. Yeah, so it won't be that strenuous of a day and I'll probably be taking this off by around 10 or 11. So that's a good six to seven hours of wear, which is when the makeup started breaking down the last time. So I'll see you guys in the next update. Bye. Hey guys, so it is now 11 p.m which means that it's been about seven hours with this foundation on and i just want to let you know it's it's holding up pretty okay i definitely do have like an oily t-zone i noticed it happening around like four or five hours which is usually what happens when you're someone who has oily skin like that's something you're just used to i think this foundation would really benefit people who have dry skin they might actually really enjoy how it's very thin lightweight it doesn't feel like heavy cakey makeup and it's not like super super high coverage or more like full coverage like it doesn't look like a mask um but if you do have oily skin i would skip this one because like i don't particularly enjoy it um even though like the skin finish looks amazing like up close you'll see the amount of cakiness with this foundation if you have oily skin and that's that ain't it chief anyway so that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next installation bye bye <laughs>